Hi, I'm Sharissa, and I'm going to walk you through the Lifestyle Toe-Up Socks um, Short Row Heel Demo. This is the pattern that I'm referring to, and it's actually, we're going to be focusing on the time to knit the heel section. Um, so let's get started. So I'm going to, um, I'm using a sample that serves as a facsimile for a sock. It is a tube, uh, assuming that you've knit from the toe up and you've gotten to the section where you're going to create the heel. Um, so you can see there's the tube and you're going to create the heel on half the stitches. And I'm using two circulars or you can also use double pointed needles. So the way that we do a short row heel is um, we, we knit down to about the last stitch, back to one stitch short, come back to two stitches short, and we keep knitting continuously one less stitch as we go down until we get to the uh, set of active stitches that serves as the turning point of the heel, and then we add them back. So um, just for clarity's sake, I'm gonna knit the heel in uh, orange and I have edited this video so you're not going to watch me knit all the way to the end of all the rows uh, but you would follow in sequence uh, knitting one stitch short on the first row so I'll knit across Now at this point I'm going to turn, no wrapping, no yarn overs, no must, no fuss, Priscilla Wilde's great recipe. Slip that stitch, that the first stitch, and then purl down, leaving one stitch unpurled. I'm going to continue doing one less stitch, leaving it to be held on the needles while you continue to knit uh, or do short rows. turn, slip that first stitch, knit down until you have two left unknitted and you'll continue doing this all the way until you get to the center eight or twelve stitches left active on your needles depending on the thickness of your yarn and how pointy your heel is. So you'll notice that I always slip the first stitch while I'm doing the short rows. So I've gone ahead and finished short rowing so I'm down to about four stitches here for the demonstration of um, the short row heel. Now I'm gonna knit, I'll slip this first stitch and knit down to the last stitch that was active and the first held stitch and I'm going to knit them together. The instructions for the Lifestyle Socks pattern actually starts you on a purl row. It doesn't really matter either purl or knit row. It's the same process. Now since I've knit two together I need to put one more stitch in work and I'm going to pick up and add a stitch and now I'll keep my stitches the same and close the gap that way. Slip that made stitch to your right needle and continue to purl across until you come to the last active stitch and the first held stitch. And you can always tell that because there's a big gap between the two. So the instructions uh, are written out to walk you through every step, but as you can see, once you've figured out you're looking at an active stitch and a held stitch and there's a gap there and then you'll pick up, you'll purl or knit those two together and pick up and add a stitch to compensate for the one you've just purled to or knit two together. Slip that made stitch to the right needle and then continue across. And you'll continue that process adding back in one stitch at a time until all the stitches are back in work. Make a stitch, 
turn, slip that stitch, and then purl across and keep at that till you're done. When you've completed your short rows, you'll have a nice heel with no additional bulk because there were no uh, wrap stitches and there were no extra yarn overs and there's no holes. This is such a wonderful technique. Thank you to Priscilla Wild for coming up with it. Um, that it's so simple, it only, you almost have to see it to realize how simple it is. Now I'm going to put them all back into work. I'll finish out the row. Pick up that last stitch. There we go. And come across and finish out the last one. If you want to check out more patterns, you can find me on Ravelry. My username is Sharisa. Or you can check out my website that has free patterns, which are basically just guides for hats, lifestyle guides for hats and socks. It's uh, knit1pearl1design1.com or k1p1design1.com. Help yourself. So finish off, add that last extra stitch, turn it, and you'll see you've got a nice heel. It hasn't got a bulky miter. There's no holes in it. And you've turned that right angle for your heel. So you're just going to add in the original color, let's say you were doing a two color heel, you would just go back to knitting in the round. So I went ahead and fast forwarded a little bit and you can see there's um, a nice heel with no holes and you'll just continue knitting. You've made your right turn and you'll knit up for the leg. This is a great process. It's really simple. There's um, no memorizing to do and um, it's a really great fit. So just to review you knit up from the toe up and then you stop and you essentially knit a triangle in your short rows. You hold those stitches and then you knit back adding those all back in on each side. When you've got all the stitches back in work you just continue on up the leg to finish your sock. So happy knitting!